शिक्षण हो समाचार होना ये श्रृंखला का प्रायोजक लामा अकाउंटिंग जैक्सन हाइट न्यूयॉर्क मालिंगो रेस्टोरेंट एंड बार सनी साइड न्यूयॉर्क होम मेड फलाफल रेस्टोरेंट ऑस्ट्रिया न्यूयॉर्क हिमालयन अकाउंटिंग ग्रुप एलएलसी जैक्सन हाइट न्यूयॉर्क शेरपा कुरियर एक्सप्रेस एंड शेरपा मूवर्स जैक्सन हाइट न्यूयॉर्क लॉ ऑफिस ऑफ केसवराज सिराय मैनहैरन न्यूयॉर्क नमस्कार स्वागत तथा अभिनंदन म शैले श्रेष्ठ संप्रेषण को अर्क श्रृंखला में उपस्थित भू अगिल्ला के श्रृंखला अलग वार्तालाप में गए पर इस पाली फेरी पहले के सत्र में जस्ते अमेरिका में भैस कई सामजिक प्रोग्रेसन का कुछ बिल का कुछ पास होना लगे कई कुछ एकमुष्ट सन्देश रैसेज लेषण में उपस्थित भू कुरो को चुरो प्रारंभ करूँ अमेरिका को राजधानी कैपिटल हिल बा दु हजार आठ पछाड़ी फेरी दोसरो चरण में दोसरो चोटी पुनर्निर्वाचित भाई राष्ट्रपति बराक ओबामा का थुप्रे एजेंडा अलग सफलता को चरण में उन्मुख हमी देख्द तर तेसोने सब एजेंडा में ढुक्क भईहालने स्थिति निश्चित रूप में छेन अमेरिकी राजनीति का पंडित विज्ञ का राजनीति बुझे मं भन्नेसन अमेरिकी राजनीति एक कदम अगाड़ी सर जैसे दुई कदम पछाड़ी सर को इतिहास इसो भाई सौ नब्बे नाइन्टीन नाइन्टी को क्लिंटन एरा जोड़ने पर्ने जी बेला यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ केयर देखि थुप्रे एजेंडा अलग लेफ्ट टर्न करे प्रोग्रेसिव मोड लिए लिबरल मोड लिए अंतगत वा पछाड़ी सीनेट में आपको बहुमत भेपनी कंग्रेस में बहुमत गुमा का कारण फेरी दुई कदम बैक भाग तो इतिहास हेद्दी दुई हजार आठ पी तेगरी संभवतः बीत तर तेसो भनी रहता अकसिम को पोलिटिकल अप्टिमिजम अलग हाई वोल्यूम में अगड़ी आई रहे कैपिटल हिल हेने वाले कैपिटल हिल में भर्खर राष्ट्रपति बराक ओबामा ने गुण संदेश के कई कुछ इंगित कर सरसर्ती तीन चार वा प्रोग्रेसिव बिल श्रमजीवी जनता का बिल संपूर्ण मध्यम वर्गीय अमेरिकी संबोधन करने के बिल पास होने एवं स्थिति देखा पड़े ते में सब भाई पेलो बिल छिव इमिग्रेशन रिफर्म बिल आर इकोनमी इज स्ट्रंग वेन वी हर्नस द टैलेंट्स एंड इंजिन्यूटी अफ स्ट्राइविंग होपफुल इमिग्रेन्ट्स एंड राइट नाउ लीडर्स फ्रॉम द बिजनेस labor, law enforcement, faith communities, they all agree that the time has come to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Now's the time to do it. Now's the time to get it done. Now's the time to get it done. Real reform means stronger border security, and we can build on the progress my administration has already made, putting more boots on the southern border than at any time in our history, and reducing illegal crossings to their lowest levels in 40 years. Comprehensive immigration reform bill 2007 ma fail bhai ra, pheri prayatna garda apni pass huna na sake ko yuta due rahe ko yuta bill ho. र सब जांद अमेरिका के इमिग्रेशन सिस्टम इट्स ए ब्रॉकन इमिग्रेशन सिस्टम तर इस अलग सीनारी चेंज कि रिपब्लिकन पार्टी में भी चेतना भाग कारण अब चाहे इमिग्रेन्ट्स हमी संबोधन करूर्च कारण अंग अफ एट वाल सीनेट में आठ जान को एटा टीम छे भित्री रूप में कई बिल तय कर ड्राफ्ट कर यदि तो पास भेन अप्सन के भादा खेल व्हाइट हाउस ने अर्क बिल तैयार भाई आगे इस कंप्रिहेन्सिव इमिग्रेशन बिल कु न कुने रूप में पास होने संभावना तेरी अर्क बिल मिनीम वेज से फेडरल लेवल में बढ़ाने भाई अर्क बिल ओबामा ने भू यूनियन स्टेट अफ द यूनियन को एड्रेस में अगले सात पच्चीस भैर में नौ डलर पुर्या ओबामा ने भन्न वी नो आर इकोनमी स्ट्रंगर वेन वी रिवोर्ड एन ऑनेस्ट डेज वर्क विथ ऑनेस्ट वेजेस बट टुडे अ फुल टाइम वर्कर मेकिंग द मिनिमम वेज अर्न्स फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डलर्स अवन विथ द A family with two kids that earns the minimum wage still lives below the poverty line. That's wrong. That's why, since the last time this Congress raised the minimum wage, 19 states have chosen to bump theirs even higher. 
tonight. Let's declare that in the wealthiest nation on earth, no one who works full time should have to live in poverty and raise the federal minimum wage to $9 an hour. We should be able to get that done. Uh. It's very clear. Sasto log priyata ko lagi alikati tyo turn ma bolle pani pass hune shambhava na new na sa. Tiste orko bill gun control bill ay raha ko sa. Jun yaha chay gun ka karan le thupre mani saru mar insan. Pailo choti chay yo bill agadi bade ko sa nishchit rup ma. Ra tyo dukhan ta gatna hami sa vele samjhe ka sa. Yehoda chulo massacre bhai sa ke pachi. Aile pachi aare sa gun ma chay niyantran gornu parsa bande mag nishchit rup ma bade ko sa. Nobbe prati sa bande bade Ameriki haru gun control gornu parsa bande pakche ma. Tese hi gari Obama le bhannu bade ko or ko yehoda kura sa universal pre-child care ko kura. Ra tese hi gari geraid ko kura ani climate change. E prastab haru jasta ka taste naay pani yash madhe ke bil haru paas hune shambhavana haami le dekhe ka sa. कैपिटल हिल को कुरा गरी रहता है कि आज और जून दिन आमी यो आइले सम्प्रेशन को यो सेगमेंट सूटिंग गरी रहा है कुछ हम अब आपको कई घंटा में यो सेक्वेस्टर बनने वाला शब्द आएगा तो व्हाट इज सेक्वेस्टर सेक्वेस्ट्रेशन क्यों बने रहो अमेरिकी जनता को ठुलो मात्रा का मानी शरुलाई पनी यो बारे था सहमति भाई ना बने कांग्रेस में सिक्वेस्टर अंतर्गत ये उटा फेडरल खर्च कटो दी गर्दा केरी 1.2 ट्रिलियन डॉलर को खर्च कटो दी निश्चित रूप में उनसे 10 वर्ष को पीरियड में बने यो वर्ष मात्रे 50 बिलियन कटो दी गर्नो पर नहीं उनसे सिक्वेस्ट्रेशन पास भाई ना बने आजा सांसद सम्मोह में यो जटिल मोड में और रो अब राजधानी बाटा हम ही रहे को राज्य न्यूयॉर्क को राजधानी अल्बानी को खुला करों अल्बानी में लामो समय जीव रहे को उठा बिल हो तेही बिल जहाँ नौ डॉलर को प्रस्ताव करने वाले राष्ट्रपति ले यहाँ अल्बानी में डेमोक्रेट चरुले जो मेजरिटी में सनाई ले 28 प्लस पांच बने बची 33 जना सदस्य सब बिल पास करी हाल स्थिति भी छाइन पांच जना सदस्य डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी स्प्लिट होने अभी वहाँ इंडिपेन्डेन्स डेमोक्रेटिक ककस बने आईडीसी पांच जान को निश्चित एट सान ककस तो जता जान उत पल्ला भारी हो तर जब हम ये मिनीम वाइज रेज करने प्रस्ताव के बारे में कुरा करी कैपिटल हिल में एट पोइंट सेवेन्टी फाइव पर आवर होने प्राय निश्चित कारण के पांच जान स्प्लिट भर गई डेमोक्रेटिक ककस ने भी यो विधा में विशेषगरी यो मुद्दा में सहमति जनास कारण तेतीस को बहुमत ने यो बिल पास होने संभावना सा यो मार्च को मध्य तीरा यहाँ अल्बानी में यो बिल पेश हुआ है बच्ची डीलों में मिडअप जुलाई समय में न्यूयॉर्क राज्य ले यो उटा अर्को फोड़ को मारने सा सात पच्चीस बाटा आठ पच्चत्तर होने सा प्रति घंटा हो यही सेरोफेर में रहे रा व्हाइट माल को टीम संप्रेषण कार्यक्रम का लागी ह तेही मूवमेंट और उपचार होने को नहीं थी ये उटा रैली भाई भाई रहे को थी वो त्याने रहा हो तेही रैली जहाँ यो आइले को मार्ग था नौ डॉलर पूरे उन्हों पर सब अन्य आइले एसेंबली में था तर आठ पॉइंट पच्चीस तर होने प्राय निश्चित था व्हाटेवर ये उटा ठुलो फड़ को मार देता न्यूयॉर्क राज्� हमें अल्बानी में लिख सब छायांकन का दृश्य रहा सहभागी वक्ता रहा रैली में जानू भाग सहभागी एडवोकेटर रामा जनसंग वार्तालाप जस्ता को तस्त तेखा संप्रेषण को यह भाग में
today are adults. The majority of those adults have families. And we're asking minimum wage workers with families to have to pay for food, rent, clothing, education, all on a minimum wage salary. The fact of the matter is this. It is impossible to do it. And it's not just rhetorically impossible to do it. It's mathematically impossible to do it. In fact, just the opposite. An increase in the minimum wage has caused an increase in employment and in each of those states. And that's what we're talking about. That's what we have to accomplish this year. And that's what we have to make sure that everybody gets the message. Thank you again. 15 years ago, as a young labor activist uh, with the Social Service Employees Union and the Working Families Party, I embarked on the campaign with many of you who are here, I look around and I see you, to raise the minimum wage then. Because the minimum wage in New York was still too low then. It took us six years. Six years to win that campaign. In 2004, the state of New York, the Senate and the Assembly passed a raise in the minimum wage, but they didn't index it. And in fact, if they had indexed it then, the minimum wage in New York right now would be over $9 an hour. That's why indexing it is so important. All these years later, and the minimum wage has not kept up with the rate of inflation, I don't need to tell low-wage workers how important it is to keep their hard-earned money in their pocket, right? Many yeah. of you who were here with me two years ago when we passed the Wage Theft Prevention Act because we understood then that low-wage workers were seeing more of their money stolen by unscrupulous employers every day. Together we formed a coalition and in one year we passed that bill. Didn't take us six years. Right? I see that. Make the road instrumental in that. So we have great partners in this fight. But we have another partner. We have a partner today that we did not have in 1998, or 99, or 2000, or all the way up to 2004. We have a governor who has said it is a good public policy for the state of New York to raise the minimum wage, that you cannot live on 7.25 an hour. Right. Yeah. He has said it publicly. Yeah. He has made it part of his state of the state. Yeah. Yeah. He has included authorizing language in his budget. Yeah. So we got the governor there. We just Woo. gotta move him a little bit first, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to take us six years this time. But this time we got to get it right. I don't want to be back here in a few years having another press conference on this beautiful staircase that was built by working people and saying that New York needs to raise the minimum wage again. Let's do it right this time. Let's pass it. Yes. Let's index it. Index yeah. it. Take people yeah. like you. afraid of indexing, it's in their interest. It takes people like me, politicians, out of the business of tinkering with the wage floor. It provides predictability and stability and they don't become subject to the whims of the legislature. It's good for workers, it's good for business, it's good for New York, let's get it done. 19 states have already raised their minimum wage higher than New York's. The residents of this great state deserve and demand immediate action that makes this state livable for all New Yorkers. Thank you. Raise the wage. Raise the wage. that we have already heard here today. There is one other thing we, as a collective, are trying to say, that New York can do better. Yes. We can do better. We understand that we are the income inequality capital of the United States. And this is the first step towards us saying, as a state, we 
want that title taken away from us. We want people to be treated fairly. We want a better life for all people. And we can only do this first by taking this issue on and pushing it out there. It is unacceptable, unacceptable mm -hmm. that at this point in time in New York, productivity is way up and wages are down. Come on. Right. I know there are certain people in our state who like that. Mm. Let's keep getting productivity up and keep pushing those wages down. Mm -hmm. But in the end, what that means is the very foundation of our society starts to crumble that's right. because more and more people are in poverty. That's right. So that's why we stand here today mm -hmm. and we say, raise the wage. 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 Yes, we are ready. We have just marched and now we're gathered here to announce justice. That's right. Let me hear it. Justice! Yes. Justice! Now, raising the minimum wage is justice. That's right. It is the just thing to do, the right thing to do, right here, right now. Today! Right here, right now! Yeah. Now, we're not only here, hundreds strong, but thousands and millions throughout the state. And to represent that, we are here with 30,000 petitions from throughout the state. That's Let right. me hear it! Yeah! petitions that represent those who signed it, but the 1.5 million people who will see an increase That's right. when we raise the minimum wage to at least 875. There's more. The 83 percent of New York voters who support this measure. And these are not just slips of paper, folks. These are people's dreams, That's right. families, hopes, and prayers. Yes. This represent real lives. Yes. And this is yes. sacred. That's right. So folks, I'm gonna call up each region forward to bring up the posters, but also the will of the people. That's right. God of many names. We are gathered here. We are gathered here. With 30,000 petitions. With 30,000 petitions. To do your will. To do your will. And do the will of the people. And do the will of the people. So we ask Senator Klein, so will, you accept, <laughs> will you accept the will of the people? A very special thank you to uh, Stu Applebaum, uh, Mario Salento, and uh, Organized Labor, but most of all, uh, all of you. Uh, I've carried uh, the bill uh, that increases the minimum wage with an index uh, for the past two years. And uh, one of my major commitments, one of my major promises, is to make sure this year we get an increase in the minimum wage. Woo! Yeah. One of the things everyone is talking about, we can talk about an issue of fairness, and it is an issue of fairness, uh, that the harding, wor hardest working New Yorkers are getting paid a wage that they can't support their family on. That the hardest working New Yorkers are getting paid an hourly wage, which is pennies more than a fancy cup of coffee in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Yes. There has to be a better way. That's right. So when I decided to take hold of this issue, when I decided to fight to make sure we increase the minimum wage, I was joined by my colleagues, Senator Ann Savino, and the other members of the Independent Democratic Conference, and we sought to really clam up the naysayers, uh, those people in business who somehow say that if we raise the level of income, if we increase the minimum wage, somehow this is going to hurt business. What we did, I think, went a long way uh, towards changing the naysayers' mind. What we did was we put out a report which showed very clearly that by increasing the minimum wage, not only are we doing something that's right for the people of the state of New York, but we actually would create close to 5,000 new jobs in the state of New York. an issue of fairness by increasing the minimum wage in the state of New York we would generate 600 million dollars every year in the economy. Right. Yeah. And let me tell you something. 
say something, everyone. By increasing the minimum wage and putting that $600 million back in the economy, who do you think it helps? It helps local businesses That's right, right yes. in the community where we live. That's right. right. Yes. Well, not, only is the, not only is the minimum wage is an issue of fairness, but it's also good for business and good for jobs. Thank you all very, very much. I, I know you're a very strong advocate and a very progressive letter. I know that. How optimistic you are in this time, because it's a long deal of things. We tried last year and it didn't move. How optimistic you are this time and how and why actually? I'm confident that there's going to be an increase in the minimum wage in New York this year. We have the support of the governor for an increase, and that's crucial. We have leaders of both the Senate and the Assembly supporting an increase in the minimum wage. But what we need to do is to make sure that we provide not just an increase now, but future increases. We don't need to be fighting this battle every two years. So you want to index uh, best on that inflation? We want to see... That's the thing, right? We want to include in the legislation provisions that the minimum wage goes up over time. Because if we don't do that, the value of the wage is going to continue to decline. And if that happens, people will not be able to survive. Even last year, in some point, we were very optimistic. But the senior equation, their math, it didn't work. Uh, how you can justify this time? IDC is still five people. Are they supportive? I think that what is very important is that the governor is a strong supporter of minimum wage. And the Senate this year is different than it was last year. And I think that um, it has positive influences in it that will be helpful in raising the minimum wage. So we can, we can do this time, right? We can set up this goal and we can claim the thing is... I believe that the wind is at our back and we're moving towards an increase in the minimum wage. But what we have to be careful about mm -hmm. is to ensure that we don't just take a one-time only increase, right. but we provide that the value of the wage doesn't decline over time with inflation. So we need to include future increases as well. For our general audience, what is the timeline for this legislation? Fully. Can you tell a little bit about then when it's going to be passed? We should have done this last year or the year before or the year before that. We need to get this done immediately. The governor has said he wants it to take effect July 1st. July 1st. Okay. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. I, I think there's a lot of optimism because um, roles are changing and reality bites so they can't avoid it anymore. They realize that they've gotten greedy for long enough and we need to raise the minimum wage, otherwise people are going to drop off like flies. Okay, why are you are here? Oh, well, I'm here to petition that, like we all know, it's not a, uh, a living wage. So we want a living standard of, a better standard of living by raising the minimum wage to a living wage. So we petition the governor to consider us. How confident you are? It's going to be passed this year? Oh, definitely. We are sure. We, we've been praying and we hope it's going to work. We know God is on our side. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. I'm here because it's criminal to pay people so little money to make a lot of money for employers. It's criminal to deprive children of what they need. I grew up poor. I was born in 1932 in the, in the depths of the Great Depression. Many people are poor, people starved. We should not have starving children now. We shouldn't have old people with no medical care. We shouldn't have people losing houses because they were persuaded to spend too much. I mean, this is criminal what's happening.
अब कैपिटल हिल बा हमी न्यूयर्क को राजधानी अल्बानी हो अब हम आऊ आप गृह नगर में यान वाइसी न्यूयर्क शहर में अब हम आिटी हलसम जानु पर्ने थुप्रे मुद्दा तैं जस्ता का तस्ते सब भाग बड़ी हमी संप्रेषण में भन्ने कर मुद्दा हो पेड सिकेज तो स्टल भग जहीं को तहीं एक्वन्न जान में सैंतीस जाना समर्थन कर बिल पास नीति तो विडंबना हमी देखी रह भोगी रह अमेरिकी राजनीति रो प्रजातंत्र में तेगरी अरुण थुप्रे प्रोग्रेसिव मुद्दा जस्ता का तस्ते हैं टेनाट बिल अफ राइट ते स्थिति में चौंतीस जान काउंसिल मेम्बर ने सपोर्ट कर सब दुई हजार तेरह मेयरल इलेक्शन का नजिक आईपुगे तेस कारण ये विविध मुद्दा में वहाँ को विचार के होने कुरा सा ठूल अर्थ राख ती विविध विषय में अब हम कता जायोर्क राज्य पचाड़ी न्यूयोर्क शहर को स्थिति के होने विविध मुद्दा में भाई कुछ सीटी काउंसिल को अलग मैथ रिक्विजन को बारे में म इस सत्र में दर्शक महानुभावर के बताने चाहूँ यह न्यूयोर्क सीटी को काउंसिल में जम्मा एक्वन्न सीट में सत्तालीस सीट डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी को कब्जा में रिपब्लिकन पार्टी को उम्मीदवार ने मुस्किल ने चार सीट जितुर्थ में सामान्यतः हमीर लगन सकता यो प्रोग्रेसिव बिल यहां लिबरल बिल जनता का बिल श्रमजीवी मं का बिल कस होना सकते हैं तेई कुछ हो संसार भरी नीति भाई तैं बड़ी राजनीति हो सब विषय में सीटी हल में हम जाना खेल हमी स्पष्ट रूप में के देखे छोड़ने तैं पॉलिशी भाग बड़ी पॉलिटिक्स होस कारण सब बिल स्टल भैया इस स्थिति में दुई हजार तेरह मेयर को इलेक्शन नजिक आई रहे फेरी ती मुद्दा में जसरी हम संसार भरी तेई चलन हो जब जब चुनाव आँच प्रजातंत्रिक पद्धति में जनता संबोधन करना जनता आशा बाढ़ जनता सपना बाढ़ फेरी उम्मीदवार घर दैलो में पोग्न तेरी न्यूयोर्क शहर में आईपुग्खे मेयर का प्रत्याशी थुप्रे मुद्दा अगि सार्वक थुप्रे सपना बाँड़ हिड़न भाग गाँव गाँव में बस्ती बस्ती में शहर में रिभिन्न फोरम में हो इस पाली हमी तस्त एवटा फोरम में व्हाइट हिमाल को टीम गये रेषण को लगी कहीं छायांकन करें हमी फर्क त्या थी रेस फर मेयर वेखी को रोजना कर मेयरल डिबेट को योग सत्र में वहाँ जे जी बोलने भो ती सब भ्यासम हमी आज ती विचार तैयार सामू संप्रेषण करने फेरी हमी यो सत्र में अल्ले भैर डिबेट को त्यो हल भि लै जा रेर जस्ता का तस्त तैं का कई दृश्य They reviewed a million documents and messages. They inter interrogated thousands of my supporters, and yet, what do they have to show for it? It's time to put up or shut up already. Whether it's paid sick days or living wage, the kind of things that will uplift us economically, or whether it's a school system that actually works for every child, because if we're going to address income disparity, if we're going to address the issue of our times, which is economic injustice, we have to fix our school system. If we're going to stop being that impoverished city Reverend Waller so powerfully spoke of, we have to fix our school system. And I'm the only person up here who said we must tax the wealthiest New Yorkers so we can have early child education, universal pre-k for every child who needs it, every child, full of them, after the school program for every middle school child who needs it. On the right path and keep them off the streets. Ask every candidate over these coming weeks. You know, I share everyone in this room's belief and enthusiasm in the future of the city of New York. You know, all four of my grandparents came here from Ireland. Most of them have almost no education. And when they first got here, some of them a hundred years ago, hard work was the ticket into the middle class. Now it's hard work and education together. And that's why if we really want to address the The income disparity in our city. We need to commit more deeply to making our school system better and more aggressive. We need an extended debt. We need to make New York.
York City a city that is synonymous with literacy, a city that has a laser-like focus in our public system of raising literacy rates and raising students' ability to read and write. We also need to build on what we've accomplished and the power of New York City's government. You know, as Speaker, I've been proud to pass the living wage and the prevailing wage, and as I said, as Mayor, would immediately drop the lawsuit against both of those so we can implement them into law. I've used the power of our economic development <coughs> corporation to drive up wages of workers. I build on what we recently did, passing a law to expand minority and women-owned businesses in this neighborhood and neighborhoods across the city. Businesses that will hire neighbors and help people get to work. We can also use the city's job and workforce training programs much better. We spend about $400 million a year, give or take, on workforce training. And I'll be frank, it is a dysfunctional system. Often training people for jobs that don't exist anymore and not giving people the right type of training they need. We cannot, without spending another penny, get that right and get people into jobs that exist. And then one of the places we need to focus most quickly is in health care. You know, in 1917, my grandparents came here from the Caribbean, finding a chip file, following the American dream, looking to build a better way of life for themselves and for their family. My father, my mother, had the opportunities of this city and were able to move into the middle class and able to provide for their family. This city has given me so much. I'm a lifelong resident. Live in Harlem right now, spent most of my life in Brooklyn. And I have the chance, too, to bring my family up in this city. But what's happening right now in the city of New York is that it is almost as if they're putting the sign out that says, you know something, it, it worked for others, but it can't work for you. It can't work for those who want to bring their families up, who want to live in dignity, who want to have an opportunity at being middle class and at taking care of their families. This city needs a leader, needs a mayor who realizes that we all, by and large, want the same thing. We want to be able to educate our children in a system that makes sure that they have opportunity in the future. We want to be able to afford an apartment or a home and be able to have one that is safe and clean and secure. We want to be able to have a job that gives you pride and dignity the opportunity to bring your family up in this city. We need a mayor who understands that, who understands that across all five boroughs, the people of this city are what makes us the greatest city. Not just the rich people in the city of New York, all people in this city. That's what makes New York City such a special place. I am also, I'm the son of immigrants. My parents came to this country in the 1950s as Holocaust survivors uh, looking for a better life for their children. Public school education was the difference for my brother and myself, and, and that's how we were hoisted up the ladder of upward mobility. Public education needs to once again become the hope of every child in the city. When I was 10 years old, I went to sleep knowing that if I worked hard and went to school and did my work, I would do better than my parents. That dream is fading for the kids in this city. Yeah. How do we fix public education? There's some great ideas that have come up here, but I think everyone's missing the fundamental problem. 50% of teachers leave the system within five years. We are committing educational malpractice in the city by allowing that to happen. Because we're sending people into the classroom who lack adequate preparation before they get there. And once they get there, they, they need professional development to get better. And that is the solution to make this city better. We are scapegoating our teachers. We are making them the, the reason for the problems with public education when in fact they need our help and they need more training. Uh, thank you to our hosts uh, for organizing this event and the, the opportunity to express our ideas and thoughts on such an important set of issues. I believe that we have a trust and confidence deficit that is at crisis proportions here in New York City and across the country. And the reason, uh, what's the evidence of that is, if you look at the voter participation rates uh, in our last mayoral election, in 2009, three of every 10 voters came out to vote for mayor. Three of every 10 voters came out 
to vote for mayor of New York City. Uh, I came here as an immigrant at uh, eight years old. Uh, grew up in Brooklyn. My mother raised me on a garment worker's salary. Uh, the public schools, the libraries, the parks, the sports programs, all services that the city offered elevated my family from the working class to the middle class. I want to do the same thing for future generations. I spent 11 years as a public school teacher. I know from being on the ground what it takes to inform our schools, and I have a plan to address uh, early intervention. I'm talking about when kids are born, particularly in inner city neighborhoods where the sting of poverty causes serious developmental issues that cause our children problems when they come into our schools at five and six years of age. My ideas of pediatric welcoming, pediatric wellness centers in, in, in some of our low-income neighborhoods will, will certainly bring dividends to the city uh, going forward and help to inform our schools. I spent 15 years on the city council with an unblemished record of independence from gay rights to the living wage bill, the term limits, I always voted my conscience. I you'll hear a lot of ideas put forth here tonight. But the bottom line is, let me, make, let me make this perfectly clear. If you get elected, indebted to special interests, you will not be able to make decisions on the merits. What really counts is who's funding your campaign, where the donations come from. Azur, Darshu Man Baburu. अहिले हामी अहिले भर्खर मेयरल क्यान्डिडेट्सहरुले आफ्नो तर्फबाट आफ्नो मन्तव्य राख्नु भएको छ र सम्भावित दर्शकहरु भनौ र श्रोताहरु या सबै यहाँ पछि हुने उम्मेदवारहरुलाई मत दिने मतदाताहरुले आफ्नो तर्फबाट कसरी बुझ्नु भयो उहाँहरुको आजको यो मेयरल डिबेट त्यसका बारेमा हामी विस्तृत रूपमा सबै व्यक्तिहरुसँग गएर निरन्तर वार्ता गर्ने प्रयत्न गर्दैछौ अहिले पार्श्वमा देखिरहनु भएको छ भर्खरै रेस फर मेयर अन्तर्गतको आजको डिबेट यहाँ समापन भएको छ र अब हामी निरन्तर वार्ताको क्रम अगाडि बढाउने छौ 14 रेडियस ब्लक इन द क्वींस ऑलमोस्ट 40000 फ्रॉम नेपाल हाउ वुड यू लाइक टू एड्रेस आवर पीपल स्पेसिफिकली what is your agenda? Well, I think that the one thing that, and, and, you know, from the Nepalese community, right. and this is a city where people have been able to come here from all over the world yes. and grow and bring their families up. It's one of the things I talked about, you know, my grandparents were immigrants, uh, you know, and they had a chance to establish a life for themselves. We need to do better. We need to do better for immigrant communities. We need to do better for the people who are here, that they can have the opportunity to be able to bring their families up, to be able to live and make a decent wage, get paid a good, a decent day's salary for a decent day's work. And right now, that's not occurring. People are being taken advantage of in this city, and we need to change that, which is why I talk about we need a different type of mayor who understands the people of this city, who understands and provides leadership, and be able to talk about economic fairness in our city. That's the type of mayor I want to be. And, you know, and that's something. So I'm looking forward. The one thing, our city, and 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 it is a city of immigrants. So as your as the Nepalese community continues to grow, it's something that is good Thank for New York so City much. and good for our economic vitality. Congratulations in advance. Thank you so much. Christine Kuhn, Mayor Mayor Race for mayor, one of the most important things in this debate is that we are going to be able to do this. Of Do you have any specific agenda to assume of the Nepali community addressing our people, you know? The, the, the Nepalese community is a fast-growing community here in New York City. It's a community that I feel very close to. They've shown me so much love and support. And I will be proud to represent the entire city of New York with the Nepalese community behind me. Right. Do you have any specific what agenda you yes, want to address, the, 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 please, if you uh, have? Yes. The immigrant, the, the Nepalese community are mostly immigrants like myself. They care very much about employment, about job opportunities, about education for the young children. And those are exactly the same kinds of priorities that I will have because I'm an immigrant. I grew up facing the same kinds of challenges and difficulties. And I know city government in New York can do far better for the community. Thank you, Yes. श्रृंखलाको विशेष प्रस्तुतिका रूपमा अहिले हामी पछाडी पार्श्वमा देखिरहनु भएको छ रेस फर मेयर भनेर 2013 मा हुन गइरहेको मेयरको अहिले प्रत्याशीहरुले आफ्नो विचार राखेर यहाँबाट गइसक्नु भएको छ र निरन्तर अहिले भर्खर हामीले मेयरका प्रत्याशी जन लियु र मिस्टर थम्पसन सँग पनि कुराकानी गरेउ र निरन्तर रूपमा उहाँहरुले अहिले भनिसकेपछि उहाँहरुको बारेमा के प्रतिक्रिया दिन्छन् त यहाँ अहिले सुनेर बस्नु भएका श्रोता दर्शकहरुले र सम्भवतः मतदाताहरुको के राय छ कसरी कन्भिन्स गर्नु भयो त विभिन्न एजेन्डाहरुमा 
सांस्कृतिक एजेंडा में तेस का बारे में हमी निरंतर अल्ले यहाँ सहभागी रहू दर्शक श्रोता र संभावित मतदातासंग निरंतर कुरा करने वाइटिमाल को यह संप्रेषण सेगमेंट का लगी ओके आफ्टर हेविंग दिस सेशन रेस फर मेयर व्हाट इज योर एसेस मैन हू डिड द बेस्ट जॉब टुडे आई थिंक लू डी द बेस्ट ही वॉज मोर क्लियर आई थिंक सो एंड देन आफ्टर लू आई थिंक दि ब्लासियो वॉज मे बी has my my per, uh, my personal saying but i think at the end it is going to be decided by the people right and i think that's the important of our community getting right. involved because they can so beautifully right but if, when they get to power if they don't work if they don't if they don't feel the pressure from the community they will not do anything so what was the main agenda today and what which part you liked most well i think what i liked the most was about um the conversation about one um workers the working class right. were placed and also housing okay. it is the part that I, that that i like new york city it is one of the most expensive city if not the most expensive city for poor people to live uh-huh. and having them talking about that is very important and also about the fact that our community are, is working class and they don't have so many protection how about pet sick days i heard a lot about this they spoke any clear about that thing um some of them spoke very clear i think christy queen uh-huh. trying to dodge that part because she has the opportunity uh-huh. to push for basic day and she hasn't done it all right thank you so much hajur aaj ka sahabhagi haru ara ile yo satra heri sake pachi yo mayoral debate heri sake pachi aapu lagi ya kura haru nirantar boli ranu bhako cha ra bibhinna kshetra ko vyakti lai sametne kram ma hami aile nirantar aru sanga varta garna gai raheka chau after after listening to them what, what is your thought whom you like most well every one of them had points um i think uh lou got the loudest applaud uh the loudest applaud but right. they all made um they all made major contributions tonight into everything that's happening what i want to see looking forward as a, i am a, a former democratic district leader and state committee woman what i want to see is more um public um housing because the bulk of our people are people are seniors that live in fixed incomes and are being pushed out and so those are that's more of the topics that we really need to focus on is on the people that are poor So who did who did the best by topic where you are so much emphasizer? I I well I love Bill de Blasio. I love um Lou. I think uh and Bill Bill um Thompson. I think all three of them took uh took control of this forum. How about Christine Quinn? I think Christine Quinn um had a lot of uh negative feedback in there. Um and that may be because of her connection to the mayor. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, we knew that you're in the session in the whole session, the mayoral debate. Yes. Uh whom you 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 like most uh, in your issue especially. Um I prefer Bill Thompson. Okay. Thompson, he was very great. Everything that he had to say was very interesting to me and I believe what he said because everybody needs a place to stay. Everybody needs um a raise in their finances cuz who can live off of 557 something and the way the economy is everybody a lot of people are working two and three jobs right. and then here my home health aide she works with me okay. and at, from people from other countries they should be allowed to come and work and they need to help with the poverty they need to help with the buildings and they need to help with the workforce and bring those jobs that are out of state out mm-hmm. of the country they right. need to bring them back oh uh, do you represent any any specific or particular organization here no no in, in general no <laughs> no i'm just i'm a member here and um whatever can be done anything that i can help in i would try to help in and help out anybody that needs to help Okay, uh it's too early to predict but do you have any prediction about the mayoral thing who is going to win or who is in forward in this race? I I know it is really tough. don't know. No. Okay. Okay, uh aaj ko is satra ma jaile bhitra bata hami aile nikliyau baira ra mayor ka pratyashi haru medwar haru le nirantar rup ma aapna kura haru aapno agenda aapno manifesto aaj ko yes uh debate ma rakhnu bhayo ra it's a long way to go ajai kai mahina baki cha ra aru nirantar es khal ka karyakram ma hami aru aru thau 
ठावट मेयर का कुछ सीटी हल का कुछ आलमानी का कुरा कैपिटल हिल का विविध विषय का मुद्दा का हमीर सरकार होने विविध विषय का प्रसंग संप्रेषण में अभी व्हाइट हिमाल का अरुण कार्यक्रम में निमित निमित लाने रेस भन्द अत्र में यो आज को थलो बा बिदा चाहूँ हजर इस श्रमजीवी जनता का कुछ वर्किंग क्लास का कुछ पीपल अफ कलर रइनोरिटी का थुप्रे मुद्दा में संबोधन करूँ वहाँ ले। आपू ने भ्यासम कई हदसम सपना बाढ़ जिस संसार भरी राजनीति में बाड़ी तो भाग फरक के अमेरिका में मैं प्रारंभ में हमी बेला बेला में समेटे लिया थुप्रे मुद्दा सब कुछ जस्ता का तस्त बस अमेरिका बुझने हमीरें निरंतर में बुझी रखे अमेरिका नीतिगत रूप में वैचारिक रूप में अलग राइट विंग कंजर्वेटिजम में रमा के एटा मूलुक हो जहाँ कुछ परिवर्तन संभव भजिल हो विटनेस कर देखि रखा रोगि रख दुई हजार आठ साल में उद्वेलित भारत चर्क को नारा हो प्रचेज को नारा दस हुई फेरी बिसाइयो रुस्किल ने बारे में बहुरी आगे अ थुप्रे चेतना का कुछ परिवर्तन का कुछ फिर नारा में सीमित भई रह कस्तो रहला त आगामी दिन न्यूयॉर्क शहर में र्यूयर्क राज्य में जो राज्य शहर में बसर हमी गर्व कर अमेरिका को पचास राज्य मध्य सब भाग बड़ी प्रोग्रेसिव रब भाग बड़ी लिबरल राज्य वाले हमीर कस्त उदाहरण दिन सकता तो बाकी उन्चास राज्य में अब का यी चुनावी प्रकरण कैपिटल हिल में राष्ट्रपति ने बाचा गुण भाग थुप्रे मुद्दा इसको छिनोपान करने इमिग्रेसन रिफर्म बिल कहाँ पुगे समाप्त होने या कुन रूप में पास होने क्लाइमेट चेंज का मुद्दा कह गए अड़किने या सुलझिने राष्ट्रपति ने आश्वासन तो दूसरे नारा में सीमित नौ डलर पुर्यावने कुछ फेडरल लेवल में सजिलो कि जहाँ दुई सौ जाना अब्सट्रक्टर भेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी जैसे अप्ठारो पोजिशन में कांग्रेस में बस्तर राष्ट्रपति बराक ओबामा को आपको बहुमत छेन तैं के संभव छ सब मुद्दा सरल रूप में जान निश्चित रूप में छेन तर तेने आशावाद मरी सकता छेन निश्चित रूप में कई बिल पास होने हो आज को संप्रेषण में यही राजनैतिक कुछ विभिन्न सामजिक मुद्दा अगड़ी सा नीतिगत रूप में भैर सब कुछ तपाईर सामू राख्त संप्रेषण को योग भाग हमी बिदा लिने अनुमति चाहूँ रिदा लिने भाई पैल रिमाइंड कर हम ईमेल एड्रेस संप्रेषण एट व्हाइट हिमाल डट टीवी हजर सद जस्त हम प्रत्येक कार्यक्रम हे सके हमीर तपाई को सुझाव सलाह ईमदारीता का साथ जस्तो लस्त अंतर्मन बाटर लेखे या बोले पठान होगा हमी निरंतर 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 संप्रेषण तपाई हमी सब को बनाने यत्न निरंतर निरंतर कर हस्त राष्ट्रपति करे जस्त अरु अरु राजनीतिज्ञ करे जस्त हमीर भी छोटो बाचा करें यहाँसंग विदा होने अनुमति चाहौ इस पाली रेषण र्वाइट हिमाल का अरु नया नया आकर्षक कार्यक्रम निरंतर हेला अल्लाह संप्रेषण बा मईट हिमाल टेलीजन का संपूर्ण कर्मी बिदा चाहौ नमस्कार अय ने संप्रेषण हो समाचार होना